what is an essential oil? I'm so excited to have you here today. Essential oils have been used for thousands of years, okay? Since back in the day, since Jesus' day. Um, and they are volatile, aromatic compounds found in plants and flowers. So they can be taken from the roots, the fruits, the stems, the leaves, the tree trunks and bark, um, the pith and the peel of a fruit. They are steam distilled or cold pressed. They're collected, whatever the plant matter is. So in terms of frankincense, and this is really cool, I don't know if you know this, frankincense is a resin. So it comes off of the tree in Oman um, in the Middle East. And their frankincense trees grow. And they, it's funny, they don't look like they're anything special, these frankincense trees. You think that because of what we know frankincense to be. It's the king of essential oils and it's so incredibly beneficial to the human body um, that it would be like this majestic tree, but it's kind of underwhelming when you see a frankincense tree, right? What they do to harvest the frankincense is they score the tree with something sharp, like this sharp tool, they score it. And then after several weeks, the it's kind of like a sap. It starts to pour through the scarring on the tree trunk and it hardens and solidifies and it looks like beautiful pieces of crystal, like amber. And um, they come back a few weeks later and then they collect it and then they steam to seal it, okay? And it's amazingly beneficial to our bodies, especially our brains. That's for another video because this is just the basics. What is essential oils, right? Citrus fruit, like an orange peel or a lemon peel, that's cold pressed. So they'll take the peeling from the fruit and then they cold press it. So some are steam distilled, some are cold pressed. That's basically how the essential oil is extracted from the plant or flower or fruit matter. So now we're gonna talk about how they work, okay? And I'm gonna keep this in pure layman's terms. The chemical constituents, it has hundreds of chemical constituents and compounds in the oil, okay? And the reason that is is because the essential oil of a plant or fruit or flower, it's the plant's defense. Let's talk about tea tree oil. Tea tree oil comes from and is grown in Australia. Australia's environment is very warm and swampy. And in areas like that, microorganisms that can breed in like warm, damp, muggy, humid places, right? So the tea tree has this amazing defense mechanism in its plant, which is antiviral, antimicrobial, antibacterial, antifungal, analgesic, right? And that is to protect itself so that because of the environment that it's living in, or sometimes it's because of what predators that plant might have, if, it's, if they're threatened by their environment, they have this pure plant power that's amazing to protect themselves, okay? So when we extract tea tree oil from the tea tree, first of all, it smells so good. Do you guys like the way tea tree oil smells? It smells so freaking good. But we're getting all those benefits that it gives itself, that it's defending itself with. We get the benefits of it. Why? Because we are carbon just like plants are. So we have a very similar makeup and when we use something that they produce to protect themselves, then it helps us to be protected. Does that make sense? Am I explaining this right? I hope so. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I'm trying to just do it in the easiest way possible. I feel like this is a common question and I teach a lot of classes, but sometimes the classes can be like very technical and scientific and it's like, why can't we just say, like we're explaining to a five-year-old what they are because that's how I learned. So basically the essential oil of the plant is its immune system, its survival mode, okay? And then it's compatible and beneficial for us because we are also carbon. And we are not against Western medicine or whatever, but it's like going natural first and trying to help support our bodies with natural remedies first is always going to be beneficial. Like, obviously, if you cut your arm off, you're not going to put an oil on it, right? If you break your arm, cut your arm off, 
for if there's something like gun shot wound or I don't know but when we have everyday common occurrences I'm a mom of five there's always something coming up around here and I love that I have a library look at that's my little library of oils and I use them and I love them and they've been so helpful and my next video that I'm going to make is essential oils and kids so and also how to use a diffuser. If you're interested in checking out those basic videos, stick around, hit the sub, hit the bell so you don't miss my vids. Keep in touch. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.